Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Michelle here at Planted by Niche and I do weekly plant content on plant care, plant unboxings, and nursery tours. But today we're going to be doing a little cute plant haul video from one of my favorite new plant shops called Leaf and Spine. So Leaf and Spine is this really small local family owned plant shop in Highland Park, Los Angeles and they carry a huge variety of rare and uncommon plants as well as some plants that are common at really great prices. Honestly, this has been one of the best rare plant shops I've ever been to in person in terms of selection, healthy plants, and prices. The prices are as if you can find a really good deal online but you don't have to pay shipping for it so you can just pick it up right away and make sure it doesn't get injured in shipping. I always like to buy my plants in person so finding this shop was like a godsend to me because I was able to find so many wishlist plants and honestly just like touch some of my wishlist plants in person because I've only ever seen pictures of them. Been there twice so far so this is kind of like a collective haul and I'll show you everything I got from there and the prices as well. I'll tag their Instagram below. Sometimes they do sales in their stores and they post like hours and updates and restocks and everything so please give them a follow if you're local to LA and go support small businesses. Alright, so one of the plants I bought the last time I was here, I personally don't have it because I gave it to my friend Skylar at Asian Plant Girls. I'll tag her Instagram in the description box, but I gave it to her for her birthday. I'll put a picture right here. She calls it her Baby Yoda plant. I forgot what it's called, so I'll also put it on the screen somewhere, but it's super cute, literally so fuzzy. I've never felt a plant like that before, and they had like four or five of them for sale at Leaf and Spine. So it was super cool to actually see it in person and buy it for my friend. All right, moving on to the plants that I bought for myself and for my collection. I'll start with the Hoyas because I got quite a couple of them from there. Okay, first up is my Hoya Vietnam. I'll add more videos, but it's such a pretty Hoya. Like you can't really see the veining or you can. So I got it with these four leaves and it was $30. I really like their little tags like this. Like if anybody knows what kind of label maker this is, like I want to label all of my plants like this. It looks so clean and so nice. Sorry, that was really unrelated. So this is the first plant I got, Hoi Vietnam for $30, which I feel like is a pretty good deal for these four leaves. All right, next up is another Hoya. So this is the Hoya Kumingiana. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but I love Hoyas with little leaves. I think they're just so precious and adorable. And um, there was a lot of new growth coming. Hopefully by next spring, I'll be able to get some flowers from this little dude. Okay, the last Hoya that I got from there was this one. It's this like fuzzy Hoya. It's called the Hoya Australis SSP KCI. I'll put all the names below. I'm sorry, I'm bad at pronouncing names, but I don't know if you can see the texture. Like, it has like some watermarks on it. That's my bad. But it's like so fuzzy. The bags are like velvety or suede. And I really like it. It has all of this new growth on top as well. I got all of these about like two and a half weeks ago. So I'm really happy with this. The fact that this was $20, big fan. Okay, so these are the three Hoyas that I bought from them. I thought they were all really good prices. And they also had some really cool ones too the last time I went that I didn't pick up. They had this Hoya Polynera for $45 and it had like four or five leaves on it. It was like a great deal. I already have one or I had one and I traded it, but I thought it was a really great deal. So really happy for whoever picked that up. And then my friend Skylar also picked up a $30 Hoya Mathilde, which was like a great size, like really good price. So their Hoya selection is amazing. They also have this one pot of Hoya Chelsea that has like these giant leaves. I wanted to get it so badly. Hopefully I took a picture of it and I'll put it in my nursery tour video, but it is like massive and they're like $25, which I think they have pretty good prices for Hoya Chelsea. Like I have this one right here that I bought from base, no, Mercari for about $40 and they have some pretty good starter pots. Okay, next plant is this one. This is a Calicia Repens variegated or like Bianca, I think is what it's called, but it's like one of these really cute plants with like a lot of variegation, like pink, purple. Honestly, it's turned a little more green since I got it because I don't think I have it in enough sun. But look how cute this little bush is. It definitely was smaller when I bought it. Like it has just grown 
like crazy. It's kind of like outgrowing its paw. It's getting like some, oh, I'm dropping little rocks everywhere, but it's dropping some of the old stems that aren't getting any light because it's just so full in the front. But I love this one, the way it just like cascades and grows towards the sunlight. So pretty. And this was $18, which I don't think is like horrible, which is why I bought it. I thought it was worth it considering the variegation and just like how pretty it was because I had one in my houseplant tour video, if you saw, and it was just growing so ugly and I have no idea why. So I wanted to buy this one to add to it slash replace it to make it look like how it's supposed to look. But, but yeah, I'm really happy with this one. Ugh, I broke off a piece, but it's okay. These are really easy. If you broke off a piece, just shove it straight back in the soil and it'll start growing. Super easy to propagate. I almost forgot about this little dude. So another plant that I got from there, oh my God, there's some dead leaves. It's this Operculicaria patchypus, but it's like, one of those like Pinterest plants is all that I know it by. It is just like such a unique plant. This one was $25, which I think is really cheap. And today I went and they had this giant one for $60, which if I had the space, I would have gotten it and sold this one. But this one is so pretty and dainty. I already lost the stem. I don't really know how. Probably just like the acclimation period, hopefully, because I've been really careful with my watering. But yes, this is definitely such a unique and favorite plant. All right, y'all, I saved the best for last. So this big dude in the back, I just came back from Leaf and Spawn literally like five minutes ago and I knew I had to film this video because I'm in love. I got this giant philodendron silver sword. So look at, look at this. So this is comparison to my hand. Look at that shiny blue silver iridescence. So beautiful. So I got, this plant, <laughs> I'm dropping rocks everywhere. Okay, so I got this plant with one, two, three, four, five, six leaves and a new one. And I got this one for $90, which I think is a pretty good deal considering before I left, I was holding another one in my hand and it was two leaves that were probably about the size of like this for $45. And so when I saw this, it would, I know it would have taken my other little plant if I bought that one like a year and a half, maybe two years to get to this size, so. But yeah, so this is my favorite plant that I've gotten from Leaf and Spine. She's so pretty. I've named her Geneva, but yeah, so that's the main reason I wanted to film this video. <laughs> All right, y'all, that was first of many plant hauls from Leaf and Spine. I would highly recommend this plant shop to anybody in the Southern California, Los Angeles area. I think it's super worth the drive out there and also to just support small businesses in the local community. All right, y'all, that's all for today. Thank you so much for visiting my channel and supporting me. You can go ahead and follow me on Instagram at plantedbymish for more daily plant content. I'd really appreciate it because I'm way more active on there. I don't really know how to use YouTube yet. So if you wanna be friends, please DM me on there and we can become planty friends. But yeah, thank you so much for watching my video. It means the world to me. I'll see y'all soon. Bye.